Hello and welcome. My name is Alan and we are back with more members of the 118th Congress. Today we are looking at Representative Marilyn Strickland who is the representative for the 10th District of Washington. And that contains a good portion of Tacoma and it does contain Olympia. She is a Democrat, and before she took office, she was preceded in office by Denny Heck. Now, let's go ahead and see who she is as an individual. She was born in Seoul, South Korea on September the 25th, 1962. Graduated from Mount Tahoma High School in Tacoma, Washington in 1980, earned a Bachelor of Arts from the University of Washington in Seattle, Washington in 1984, earned an MBA from Clark Atlanta University in Atlanta, Georgia in 1992, has been an, a marketing executive member of the Tacoma Washington City Council in 2008 to 2009, mayor of Tacoma Washington in 2010 to 2017, president and C CEO of the Seattle Washington Metropolitan Chamber, Chamber of Commerce 2018 to 2019 before being elected as a Democrat to the 117th and following Congress. So she's in term two, year four. Now let's go ahead and look at the committees. She is on. <clears throat> oh, good, excuse me. She is on the Committee on Armed Services, of which she's on the Subcommittee on Military Personnel and the Subcommittee on Readiness. And she is on the Committee on Transportation and Infrastructure, of which she's on the Subcommittee on Highways and Transit, and the Subcommittee on Railroads, Pipelines, and Hazardous Materials. Now, let's go ahead and look at her five, top five industry donors over her career. At the top, retired, who altogether have donated $380,005. Next is pro-Israel, who have donated $253,200. Next is Democratic Liberal Groups, who have donated $228,733. Next is Human Rights, who altogether have donated $209,735. And fifth, is lobbyists who have donated $193,676. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at her top five individual donors and contributors over her career. At the top, number one, we have APAC, the American Israel Public Affairs Committee and they are a, a pro-Israel lobbying group that advocates its policies to the legislative and executive branches in the U.S. One of the several pro-Israel lobbying organizations in the country, it has been called one of the most powerful lobbying groups. It was founded in 1954 by Isaiah L. Kinnan, a lobbyist for the Israeli government partly to counter the negative international reactions to Israel's Kibia massacre of Palestinian villagers that year. APAC only became a powerful organization during its peak influence in the 1980s. In 2002, APAC expressed intent to lobby Congress to authorize use of force in Iraq. And in 2003, the Iraq war was defended at APAC events. Altogether, they have donated $119,430. And once again, that's APAC. Next, at number two, we have Amazon.com doing business as Amazon 
It is an American multinational technology company engaged in e-commerce, cloud computing, online advertising, digital streaming, and artificial intelligence. It is considered one of the big five American technology companies, the other four being Alphabet, the parent company of Google, Apple, Meta, the parent company of Facebook, and Microsoft. Amazon was founded on July the 5th, 1994 by Jeff Bezos in Bellevue, Washington. The company originally started as an online marketplace for books, but gradually expanded its offerings to include a wide range of product categories. The diversification led to it being referred to as the Everything Store. Altogether, it has donated 70000 $762, and once again, that's Amazon.com. Next, at number three, we have Microsoft Corporation, and they are an American multinational corporation and technology company headquartered in Redmond, Washington, best known for its software products like the Windows line of operating systems, the Microsoft 365 suite and uh, of productivity applications, the Azure cloud computing platform, the Edge web browser. Its flagship hardware products are the Xbox video game consoles, the Microsoft Surface lineup of touchscreen personal computers, and Microsoft rank number 14 in the 2022 Fortune 500 rankings in of the largest U.S. corporations by total revenue, and it was the world's largest software maker by revenue in 2022, according to Forbes Global 2000. It is considered one of the big five American information technology companies alongside Alphabet, parent company of Google, Amazon, Apple, and Meta, the parent company of Facebook. It was founded by Bill Gates and Paul Allen on April 4th, 1975 to develop and sell basic interpreters for the Altair 8800. It rose to dominate the personal computer operating system market with MS-DOS in the mid-1980s, followed by Windows. The company's 1986 initial public offering and subsequent rise in its share price created three billionaires and an estimated 12,000 millionaires among Microsoft employees. Since the 1990s, it has increasingly diversified from the operating system market and has made several corporate acquisitions, the largest being the acquisition of Activision Blizzard for $68.7 billion in October 2023, followed by the acquisition of LinkedIn in 26, for $26.2 billion in December of 2016 and its acquisition of Skype Technologies for $8.2 five billion in May 2011. Altogether, it has donated $44,210 and once again, that's Microsoft Corporation. Next, at number four, we have Berkshire Hathaway, an American multinational conglomerate holding company headquartered in Omaha, Nebraska. It was founded in 1839 as a textile manufacturer, but transitioned into a major conglomerate starting in 1965 under the management of Ch Chairman and CEO Warren Buffett and Vice Chairman Charlie Munger. Currently, the company's earning power is diversified across a broad portfolio of subsidiaries, equity positions, and other securities. Insurance is a major area of operations and the float, the retained premiums generated, serves an important source of capital. Buffett and Munger are known as for their advocacy of value investing principles and under their direction, the company's book value has grown at an average rate of 20% compared to about 10% 
from the S&P 500 index with dividends included over the same period while enjoying large amounts of capital and minimal debt. The company's insurance brands include auto insurer Geico and reinsurance firm Ginray. Its non-insurance subsidiaries operate in diverse sectors such as confectionery, retail, railroads, home furnishings, machinery, jewelry, apparel, electric power, and natural gas distribution. Among its partially owned businesses are Kraft Heinz at 26.7%, American Express at 18.8%, Bank of America at 11.9%, Coca-Cola at 9.32%, and Apple Inc. at 5.57%. Altogether, it has donated $33,727, and once again, that's Berkshire Hathaway. Finally, in fifth, we have the city of Tacoma, Washington, and it is the county seat of Pierce County, Washington, in the US. It is a port city situated along Washington's Puget Sound, 32 miles southwest of Seattle, 56 miles southwest of Bellevue, 31 miles northeast of the state capital in Olympia, 58 miles northwest of Mount Rainier National Park, and 80 miles east of Olympic National Park. Altogether, it has donated thirty thousand three hundred and fifty seven dollars and once again that's the city of Tacoma Washington now let's look at our donors at a glance industry wise retired absolutely wonderful pro-israel boo suck democratic liberal groups boo suck human rights absolutely wonderful lobbyists boo suck you're kind of screwing yourself up g going with good things like human rights and the retired when you also take from pro-Israel and lobbyists. Come on now. Individually, APAC, boo, absolutely sucks. Amazon.com, ooh, Microsoft, ooh, Berkshire Hathaway, uh, City of Tacoma, Washington, absolutely wonderful. Yeah, you need to get out some of these other donors. They're, they're killing you. But, this has been a look at Representative Marilyn Strickland, representative of the 10th District of Washington. As always, educate thyself. Think, read, study, learn. Someone tells you something you have trouble believing, ask them to cite their sources. I'll be putting my links and sources in the description box below the video. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Until then, later.